executive gun control. Breitbart reports, the reporting that SSA, in consultation with the Department of Justice, is expected to require will cover appropriate records of the approximately 75,000 people each year who have a documented mental health issue, receive disability benefits, and are unable to manage those benefits because of their mental impairment. Sorry, Grandpa, we're turning your home into a gun-free zone, where 92% of mass shootings have happened since 2009. It'll be open season on you once the punks down the street find out the gun confiscation SWAT team paid a visit to your house. And as the Washington Free Beacon reports, Obama's executive order may require those selling even a single firearm to become licensed dealers. With gun sales skyrocketing, this will send shockwaves through the economy, not to mention society. But how exactly does Obama categorize those that should be restricted from owning a firearm? Under Obama and the DOJ's proposed rule attached to the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, and the National Instant Criminal Background Check System, NICS, the Department of Health and Human Services expressly permits certain HIPAA-covered entities to disclose to the National Instant Criminal Background Check System the identities of individuals who are subject to a federal mental health prohibitor that disqualifies them from shipping, transporting, possessing, or receiving a firearm. Furthermore, among the persons subject to the federal mental health prohibitors are individuals who have been involuntarily committed to a mental institution, found incompetent to stand trial or not guilty by reason of insanity, or otherwise have been determined by a court, board commission, or other lawful authority to be a danger to themselves or others to lack the mental capacity to contract or manage their own affairs as a result of subnormal intelligence or mental illness incompetency, condition, whatever that is, or disease. Basically, anybody can be determined as a mental risk. And your doctor, a tool of Obamacare's Stasi on steroids data program, can legally rat you out and send a SWAT team to your door to confiscate your weapons, when it's Obama's very policies on immigration and gun-free zone violence that have caused gun sales to soar in the United States in the first place. Uh, I've got a pen. And I've got a phone. The nightmarish wielding of Obama's pen and a phone doesn't rest on the amount of executive orders Obama has signed. He's a lightweight, with the current 226 total, compared to FDR's 3,522. We believe in social security. Or the guy that gave us the Federal Reserve, Woodrow Wilson's 1,803. It's the usage of the executive orders to openly bypass Congress on constitutional law while shedding crocodile tears, all for the sake of a nearly completed one-world government agenda. Let the impeachment proceedings begin. John Bound for Infowars.com. Shane Steiner's involvement with InfoWarsLife.com truly happened in an organic way. I went to high school with Shane, his brother, knew his parents well, and he was visiting the office once, hadn't been to the office in years, and said, wow, I notice you're making and selling supplements. Do these really work? Because I've tried a lot of supplements as a, a workout enthusiast, and I really think most of them are hype. And I said, here, take some home, try it. Well, a few weeks later, he came in blown away and said, I want to buy three boxes of this stuff to give my friends and family. It's simply amazing. He said, why does it work so well? And I said, listen, go to InfoWarsLife.com, watch the informational videos with Dr. Group and others. They understand how it all works. I know that it works for me. That's all I understand. The science, the facts, the research, people's testimonials, they're all in InfoWarsLife.com. You can check it out for yourself. I wanted to go to the gym. I wanted to push myself and work out harder. And that led to me being able to come out and do stuff like the barefooting and the surfing and stuff like that, which what I would have never done. I, I never would have done that uh, two years ago. Shane has said over and over again, more than just libido and energy, it made him want to get into the gym more. It made him want to get in better shape. And believe me, the Steiners have amazing genetics. Uh, his brother is a world champion steer wrestler. His dad, Bobby Steiner, is a famous world champion bull rider. They've got natural genetics. But when you added this to the mix, in Shane's own words, it took him to the next level. Shane noticed the mental clarity, 
Bobby was able to work out longer and gain muscle mass. He's already completely shredded. I gotta admit, for me, the biggest effect has been libido. Now, I've never claimed to have a body like some beach model, but back when I was 20, 22 years old and worked out every day, I looked great. But over the years, and being married, having three kids, and working 18 hours a day, I gained basically 100 pounds. And it's been a long process of losing that weight in the last four years. But if you look at the photos and the videos of what I looked like four or five years ago versus today, the results are dramatic. I'd already cleaned up my diet, I was working out hard, but I'd only lost about 20 pounds. It was adding the other key ingredients ingredients from InfoWarsLife.com that helped me personally go to the next level and shed another 35 pounds. This has actually made me feel so good that uh, here lately, about a year ago, I started training jujitsu and that kind of led to doing some boxing and kickboxing. I mean, it's, it's amazing that two years ago I was on the couch and couldn't even tie my shoes. And now I'm training with MMA fighters and uh, just doing stuff that I never thought that I'd, I would be doing ever again. So Super Male Vitality has allowed me to do some amazing things. And if it has those kind of effects for me, I know that it will do great things for you. So just try Super Male Vitality. I promise you, you'll love it. And finally, let's look at Anthony Gucciardi, InfoWars.com reporter. He also works with Dr. Group and others helping develop the newest, most cutting edge, high quality supplements. Let's take a look at what happened when he tried to barefoot ski for the first time with the Steiners. And remember, we're not making fun of him. He had the will to get in the arena, and he's lost more than 10 pounds in the last few years of fat and gained more than 10 pounds of muscle. And Anthony chalks it up to super male vitality as well. Bottom line, folks, you want to discover the power of super male vitality and super female vitality for yourself by visiting InfoWarsLife.com today or by calling toll free 888 253 3139. Uh, Wayne Madsen, Wayne Madsen Reports.com. Uh, Wayne, formerly uh, in, in the Navy and anti submarine warfare. Uh, then, of course, uh, head of a major security operations at the National Security Agency, uh, one of the first big NSA whistleblowers 15 years ago or more, uh, works with InfoWars.com as a roving journalist. You just heard my rant, but I mean, you know, it's one thing to have a pill popping drunk like Nixon. At least they don't want to destroy the country. You've investigated Obama, written books about him like nobody else out there. You're not some right winger. I'd call you more of an overall patriotic, libertarian, progressive, not in the George Soros sense, but as a real one. Uh, classical, liberal, whatever. I mean, you know, five years ago when you were saying Obama, you know, we're, does have weird Muslim ties. I, I was still poo pooing that. Uh, I've got sources in the White House. I mean, I don't know if it's a psyop or whatever, but he's hitting his knees to Mecca. Uh, he's trying to destroy the country. I, I, I'm, I'm going to get into Soros funding attacks on Christians all over the world. I mean, what's the grand plan here, Wayne Madsen? Well, I, I think Soros is the master of uh, chaos. Uh, I, you know, he actually has figured out a way to make money through constant disruption and constant chaos, whether it's financial chaos, how he shorts national currencies, or uh, by uh, funding these street demonstrations that eventually turn into full-scale uh, coup d'etats like we saw happen in Ukraine and Georgia and in the so-called Arab Spring, which he bankrolled also, Libya, Egypt, Tunisia, uh, funding uh, the, the uprising in Syria with all of its disastrous effects. And now we've got Soros telling Europe, yeah, you've taken in a million of these uh, Muslim migrants, mostly from the Middle East and North Africa, but you could take in a few million more and, and now it's being reported. It's not being reported here because of the political correctness issue. And I think Trump is really on to something with his, uh, his tirade on political correctness. But uh, we just had uh, reports on New Year's Eve out of Germany, thousands of these uh, jihadi gangbangers uh, going around in wolf packs, basically raping German women who were out celebrating New Year's Eve. 
Now, oh, we have video of it. We're going to skip this network yeah. break. This is so important. Let's let's show the articles at Infowars.com of mass gang rapes, 35 women raped at once, police standing down, churches being raided. I mean, this is a foaming at the mouth jihadis that couldn't take over Syria. The Russians kicked them out. So now they went back to Turkey and they dumped them in Europe. I mean, this is over the top. Yeah, and, and and I, you know, and we have Turkey, you know, this Erdogan, the president, becoming a neo Ottoman emperor, uh, and who does Obama use as his sounding board and his advisor for uh, issues in the Middle East? He talks to Erdogan, Erdogan, who whose uh, Muslim uh, cleric uh, just said that it's it, it, uh, engaged couples in Turkey should not be walking around holding hands. Looks like Turkey is going to go back to the ways of Saudi Arabia, which just, of course, executed uh, a major Shia cleric and some minor Shia clerics. And that now we're supposed to uh, be on the side of Saudi Arabia as they basically they, they started this to get into a war with Iran. This is one case where the United States ought to just switch sides and say, you, Saudi Arabia, you did it on 9-11 with some of your friends. And now you're trying to get us into a major shooting war with Iran. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, we're retargeting our weapons. They're not pointing at Tehran anymore. They're pointing at Riyadh, Jeddah, and Mecca. Well, I tell you, Wayne, uh, you can see Operation Chaos worldwide. Uh, Spectre doesn't exist in fantasy land, but it, it exists in the real world with just all Hades breaking loose. And... I got to say, I supported the Bundys and others and my reporters when they went. When the feds had kicked all 35 other ranching families off, they were the last family there. Harry Reid was in a land swap for solar panels in one area. This was going to be the environmental easement uh, in the other. And But now, them going in when they're not wanted by the locals and taking over this area, it just the timing with Obama and his gun control push and everything that's going on really, really smells to me. Again, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm saying the whole thing with it now all over the news that, oh, my gosh, white domestic terrorists are attacking, you know, all the, quote, uh, Black Lives Matter people saying, you know, go kill them, send in the National Guard. I'm really concerned about them trying to kick off some type of civil unrest in this country uh, on the back of the gun control. Uh, what's your take on that, and do you have any ideas or strategies to try to uh, navigate out of this. Then let's get into your article that we ran at Infowars.com yesterday dealing with uh, Soros' top 10 hit list, Christians being number one. Well, people can always be used by those who have agendas. And uh, remember Occupy Wall Street. Uh, Soros, of course, did provide some money uh, for Occupy Wall Street. But then we had, as, as we started to see the Occupy movement gel in New York and Washington and L.A. and other cities, we had the FBI come out and they got caught uh, because it was in their own documents that they were going to start uh, using FBI snipers to pick off the leaders of the Occupy movement who were speaking in these various uh, city centers. So there's a perfect example of how a guy like Soros will cooperate with the government to basically surface the leadership uh, for ulterior motives. and. Uh, and we saw, look, you can go back to the uh, anti-Vietnam War protests when you, you had like the SDS occupying university offices, ROTC buildings on campuses. And the later we found out a lot of these uh, SDS members were FBI informants. So uh, they were ratting out the, the people who wanted to keep it nonviolent, of course. Absolutely. And then all I do, all I do is I come out Sunday and yesterday and I say, I support uh, the overall idea, what the bunnies are doing. I know the feds are grabbing these mines and property. It's part of the deindustrialization shutdown program, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. But the timing and where you're at, please watch out for provocateurs. Watch out for infiltrators. Please, uh, and I told the feds, please try to de-escalate. Don't play into the Civil War plan that your foreign bosses want. Come on, let's, let, let's really come together here. Let's not be stupid. I'm like a wartime broadcaster talking to both sides to not be idiots. And then the response is, people run up to my reporters who are, quote, you know, involved in all this and some of the prominent people, well, who I don't even know their names. And they go, how dare Alex Jones say, I'm a Fed and, and, and Eamon Bundy's a Fed. And Joe's like, he never said that. Well, it doesn't matter. That's what we were told. So you're bad. I mean, obviously, who's telling them that? 
I mean, this is so textbook, how they cut these people out, how they manipulate them. It's just so sad how they play them. Uh, and, and it's just so, I've, I've been doing this for 20 plus years. I told people that the Hatari militia was being infiltrated.